what's going on folks welcome to another video in this video i'm going to be showing you in very close detail how i achieve this hairstyle so stay tuned for that i just have a quick thought though in liberia when a storyteller sits down to tell you a story they star like any disney movie once upon a time then the listeners have to respond by saying time that lets the storyteller know that the listeners are ready and they're paying close attention so let's start once upon a time time great let's get into it so i'm not even wasting your time right here i'm just going to show you guys how i got the hair um to attach in with my hair i'm using the rubber band method so what i did is rubber band my hair entirely well let's be honest i didn't do it myself my beautiful sister linda helped me um rubber band my entire hair um and so what I'm doing now is just using the crochet needle to kind of get the hair in with my own hair. So coming up in another clip, I'm going to do some slow motions and some close up so you can really see what I'm doing. So I hope silence does not make you feel uncomfortable. Because I personally love silence. I can drive for hours in complete silence. Um, so when you see me pulling my hair like that, I'm just kind of pulling it to make my hair um, a little tighter. Because when I pull the crochet and the Marley hair through, the hair becomes a little loose. So when I pull, it's just making it a little tighter so the hair looks neater. You don't want to pull too tight because um, you don't want your hair to feel um, sore when you're done. I can tell you I love using the rubber band method because once you're done, your hair feels like nothing. Like it feels as though you've had it for a long time. It doesn't feel tight. You know when you first get your braids, you kind of feel the tightness on your head. Not with these. It feels really great. I'm able to put it up in a ponytail right after I'm done braiding it. So I like this method very much. Back to the silence. I kind of enjoy videos where I can just listen to instruction and learn and not the loud music, not the too much talking. I'm such a visual learner, so for me, just listen to instruction, um, but mostly watching what I'm, you know, learning. It's a better way of learning for me, just paying close attention. So I'm going to stop talking and enjoy. Because your hair is going to be in braids, you definitely want to make sure you get it really moisturized. My root or my scalp, I don't worry about much because I can go in and oil it, but definitely want to get the ends of your hair. And that clump of hair you see in the comb is from me brushing out the Marley hair. This is hair that I used about two years ago. I washed it and had it stored in a little ziploc bag where I keep most of my hairs that I know I want to reuse. So um, you will see me doing a lot of detangling of the Marley hair just because um, it's hair that I once had in my head. 
and the hair color is a number two and my hair is a 1b um, but I don't mind the uh, you know the different the sh different shades no we're not going to ignore the pink in my hair I just wanted to try it out I sell hair so that's a pack of hair that I have and I just wanted to see how it will um, blend in with this style so I just used a couple of strands And that's Jaden. You guys say hi to Jaden. I love that kid. He has his video here on my channel that um, a video of him doing his chores. So check it out if you haven't seen that already. While I was doing my hair, Jaden was studying. He was um, studying his vocabulary words. He does have a test coming up on Friday. And the day I'm recording this video is on Tuesday. So we have a lot of time to just get him um, ready for his spelling test. Jaden is excellent when it comes to spelling, so I never worry about him. So if you haven't caught it yet, I am recording this voiceover sitting outside. It's a beautiful breezy day today. The birds are flying and tripping and bunnies and squirrels are going by. So I just wanted to stay out here and record this voiceover. Um, in the next clip that's coming though, where I'm dipping my hair in hot water, I am going to leave the original audio on just because my nephews were cracking me up. I was trying so hard not to laugh because I had this hot water in my hand. Um, so yeah, this is what we use to dip our um, hair in hot water. We have two of them and we just have the black one for hair purpose. So everyone knows that that's for hair. Um, but yeah, it's so easy to do your own hair, guys. Um, I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box. Hit me up on Instagram at Beauty. I'm on there. After dipping all of the hair in hot water, I let the rollers stay in for 30 minutes so the hair can completely dry, and then I took it out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.